Hi, my name is Marissa and I'm one of the operators of PreschoolLearningOnline.com and ActivitySchoolBus.com. Um, I'm here today just to share with you some simple ideas to use in the classroom. Um, I have here a whole set of bugs. I actually got these bugs from a dollar store, so all of these bugs only cost me a dollar. Um, and it's so great because you might be walking around and you see these and you're like, you know, how can I use these in the classroom? I actually got three uses out of them. I used them for an entire month and the children loved them. The first place I used them was in the sensory bin. I put these bugs in the sensory bin, I found some sticks outside, I broke the sticks up into little pieces and I put them all together and the kids were there forever using the bugs and the sticks because it's something new. The sticks were real, the bugs weren't, but these bugs are cute, they actually look real. Um, or as real as they can for being plastic bugs. <laughs> um, but they used them in the sensory bin. It was great. The sensory bin had at least three or four kids around it all the time. They were talking about them. They were laughing. They were using them with the sticks. And it turned out to be a really great project. I actually had the sensory bin out for a good week. Every day for a week because they wanted it so much. Um, the second place I used them was in the science center. I, put the, I had two trays and I divided the bugs up and I put some sand on the bugs on the trays and had little magnifying glasses and um, little toothpicks for them to search around in and the children loved that. They thought it was neat to search through the sand and find the bugs and then they would look at them with their little magnifying glasses and the magnifying glasses as well I found at the dollar store. And then another place I used the, uh, the bugs was in the dramatic play area. I had a little garden theme where I had some fake flowers set out and fake fe vegetables in a fake garden and I put the bugs, some bugs in the flowers and some bugs in the garden, some bugs in the vegetables and the kids loved it. They loved, you know, seeing the bugs that they used from a couple weeks ago all of a sudden showing up in their garden. Um, so it's really great if you're ever walking around a store you see something just like bugs or something that you're like well how could I use that if it's cheap enough like a dollar get it because you'd be surprised at all the things you could think of um, like all the ways you can think to use items like this now if you do have something and you really drew a mind blank and you don't know how to use them email me and show and let me know what you found what you'd like to use it for or if you have no idea what to use it for and I, I can help you out I have a number of ideas that you can use for anything and I'd be um, I'd be really happy to help you out and get some ideas flowing in your classroom so that's just my little bug idea um, like I said if you need to um, email me preschool learning online at yahoo.ca or you can even leave a message under this um, video, but my email is better to reach me. Alrighty, so have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.